Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS VivoBook S model S510U. There's a whole bigger number than that for the model which is at the back under the serial number which is an S510UR-BR175T. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can add, remove or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. This applies for any 510AU laptop ASUS, right? Just remember by upgrading the RAM, there's no extra additional uh, modification or options you have to click. Everything is set by the motherboard, the RAM speed, everything is set automatically to whatever it can handle, right? I'll leave the link for the tools and the compatible RAMs in the video description in case you want to purchase. Also, I made a, really, a link to check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. Check that link. Be short video so if you want to know how much you can put on your reversion of your laptop depending on what generation of the cpu you have we are going to upgrade this one to an, a 16 gig to 8 gig because it comes with an 8 gig 16 gig is for an office use everything is perfectly fine even for a light gaming stuff it's perfectly okay and some people want to go 32 you can go 32 but i do not recommend you to do 32 it's just overkill and you're not going to benefit from it for the type of the CPU that it has, just go with a 16 gig. All right, with all that said, let's get into it. First thing first, you need a good screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as it has all the bits that you need for opening your electronics. You are gonna be using a Phillips number one. I purchased myself this um, basic tool set. If you wanna uh, opening tools and some tweezers and stuff like that, get a pro set. Otherwise, just get yourself a metallic guitar pick. And metallic topics are suitable for opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, you're gonna get it started. First thing first, on the bottom of power it off, flip it upside down. On the bottom, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There's a one, two, three, four types of screws in here. And there's a two hidden screws plus cover those up, one under each rubber cover at the back corner. So to remove it, there's a little adhesive on the rubber, just put it underneath and just lift it up, put it to one side. Same thing on the back, so only on the, only on the back corner. Once you remove these two rubber cup feet, remove these two black screws right underneath. Underneath. Right. Next, we want to remove the only single longest screw, which is the one back mid. This is the longest one, so keep that in separate pile. We want to remove the two shortest screws, which is the corner ones only. So remove these corner screws. And now the rest of the screws, including the one in the middle, they're all the same size and height. So go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate file. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate it. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we are gonna grab ourselves the opening tool and we are gonna go in front of the laptop. Front end because there's a speaker in here, there's no electronic. We're gonna stick the guitar pick, the opening tool, about one or two millimeter in there, and we're gonna twist it back. And you're gonna hear that big click sound. That's what you wanna hear. Twist it. So that the clips are getting loose. Do that all around in the front. Go to the corner. Put your finger in there so it doesn't go back down. And go to the back corner. One or two millimeter. Don't stick the whole thing. To the corner. Oh, I forgot one screw over here. Always make sure you remove all the screws. And go ahead and fill it up. There we go. There we go. Once you do the sides and the front, you can just grab it from the front, wiggle it around, lift it up, and it will snap the back clips. It doesn't break, it just snaps them loose, so you can just remove it. Right down here, we can see right away we have two RAM dims. Right. To remove the RAM, upgrade the RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery. Just leave it the way it is. So as long as you don't bring your screwdriver over and drop some stuff on top, you're safe. There's nothing to worry about it as long as you power off. So don't play around with the power jack for the battery. All right, to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to put your fingers on the side of these two triggers. And you wanna pull them away from each other and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. And all you wanna do is grab it in the same 45 degree angle and you wanna slide it backward. Don't yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna break the dam or, or the ramp. So slide it backwards. 
right? So these are DDR4 uh, RAM, 8 gig, uh, 2400 hertz, right? So you can put a 3200. So I'm, we're gonna add another, it doesn't have to be the same brand, as long as it's an 8 gig or whatever you have in here, it's fine. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. So if you try to put it the other way around, this way, it will simply not go through because of the notches right there, they don't match, right? So make sure you flip it over, doesn't matter the orientation of the RAM chip, bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector. And then simply you wanna push it towards the motherboard and you wanna hear these two triggers open and close softly, just like that. So grab the other RAM that you wanna put, this one is a Kingston. You wanna make sure align the orientation of the notches in 45 degree angle. I'm not bringing it straight in, in a 45 degree angle all the way in and push it towards the motherboard and it will stay straight, these triggers. That means the RAM is in place. Once you have the RAM in there, you don't have to put, put the back cover on to power it on. You can just lift it up and power it on, make sure that it's booting up, it's working, and then power it off and come back and put the back cover. If you power it on after five to 10 seconds or 20 seconds, let's say, you don't get anything on the screen, you wanna power it off, you wanna switch the RAM in places. Switch it back on, and then that way the motherboard will be forced to do a MEM check. All right, once you, you're okay with it, just grab the bottom cover, put it right over, and you wanna pinch the bottom cover with the palm rest together, and you wanna hit those nice big click sounds on every corner. If you see any gaps opening, you just wanna pinch them together, and it will go to its place. Look at this one, this one has a little gap in there, so I'm gonna pinch it, and there we go. All right, to finish it off, it put the black screws at the back corner first, and then put the rubber feet on top, and put the longest screw, the chrome one, in the back mid, and remember the shortest screw goes in the front corners. Those are very important. Don't put a medium sized screw on the short corner, otherwise it's gonna pop from the palm rest out. So put these ones in here, and the rest of the screws in the mid, front, mid, everything is a medium sized screws. I am gonna power on the laptop so you guys can see that it does power on, and then I'll come back and I'll put the rest of the screws. Again, I hope you guys really like this video and helped you guys out to your RAM upgrade for your Asus laptop. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I don't know if it has power or not. Is it power on? It might take a few seconds to boot up. So there we go. Once I see the logo that I know is working. So, and I'm inside the BIOS. And where do I see my RAM? RAM 16 gig right over here. And that's it. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.